Well, Eric, uh, thank you so much for helping my project. Uh, could you say a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so uh, my name is Eric. I'm a recent graduate from Columbia University. Um, I am from South Korea. <clears throat> I've been studying the States for quite a while. Um, majored in computer science, and um, I'm in San Jose right now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, did you know that NASA is planning to send astronauts back to the moon? I actually have uh, heard that news because I took a class at Columbia um, based on space exploration um, during my last semester. And we discussed a lot of topics based on space. And one of them was um, was actually that NASA, I, and also, I'm not, maybe this is wrong, but I, I do, I heard that NASA was trying to go back to the moon and working with um, uh, SpaceX on that project, if I'm correct. <laughs> yeah, no, that's absolutely true. Um, and so NASA developed uh, the Space Launch System and the Orion uh, in partnership with uh, Boeing and Lockheed Martin that mm -hmm. uh, takes astronauts around the moon. And then they mm -hmm. had a competition to see who would build the lander to take them from the orbit of the moon down to the surface and back. Mm -hmm. um, and there were three companies that were competing, uh, SpaceX, uh, a team led by Blue Origin called the National Team, and Dynetics. And ultimately, SpaceX won that competition. So they got the contract to uh, create what they were calling the human landing system. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's wow. absolutely true. I see. Wow. <laughs> but I, I'm really interested. So um, what made you sign up for that class? So there is, I mean, the actually, I mean, the biggest reason, to be honest, was um, I needed a, a um, so in our, in my major, the 3-2 program that I did, we had to take like technical courses, um, a course, uh, major related courses, and I needed a, uh, like an upper level uh, tech course. So um, that was one reason. Another reason was because um, I was actually into space when I was really young, but I never got the opportunity to like take related courses in sort of like or go deep into it. And but then um, my friend uh, who was actually taking that course in the beginning of the semester told me and recommended me to take that course. So I was like in the middle of choosing different courses, but then that just struck me. And then, yeah, that's that's why I decided to take that course. But uh, that's interesting that you were interest in space when you were little i do you know what kind of sparked that interest so um i think what sparked that uh what made me in, uh get interested in the space was i can't remember the exact name of the cartoon or um uh it was like a cartoon where you had like a magical bus and they would like take kids, I think, to space or like was to it like, like a magic school bus. I think so. I think that was the name of it. And I think they had a, a couple, like or maybe a lot of like travels to space. That's probably when that first grabbed my attention. But when I, when I was that was when I was really young. So um, yeah, that that basically like made me um, get really interested in space. But then it like drove off for quite a while, and then. Uh, I like her news from like SpaceX and all that stuff. And then I got to Columbia and then took that course basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what are some of the things they covered in that course? So um, they covered a lot. They, so what happened, so that course uh, happened once every week and they would, what they would do is they would cover different topics about space and also um, invite or like ask people, like people who work, for like from NASA, NASA or like a related to space uh, related projects, uh, invite and like have speak uh, have um sp not speeches but like I guess talks about about it. Um, we had a very famous person who actually came in to talk about um about space related stuff. I can't remember his name, but he even had his own book. He worked for NASA. Um, yeah. Uh, the topics that we talked were like. Their uh, Mars exploration. Um, I mean, SpaceX related projects. Um, there was one that I actually did a uh, research on. I mean, like short short essay on was um, it was a uh, rocket that SpaceX uh, was developing. I think a Starship. 
yeah. Starship. So that I I did a short essay about it, basically a research pa uh, paper, and so yeah, it was basically a, a ton of like topics that we discussed on. That's the only like things that that come up in my mind for now. But yeah, it was really interesting. <laughs> I, and it's really amazing. Um, I mean, the Starship is about to do its first orbital test flight, yes. maybe in a month or or two. Right. Uh, right. In your paper, uh, what did you learn about it that surprised you? Um, I learned, uh, I actually learned quite a lot. I can't really remember because it was a while ago. Um, I think just to like bring uh, things that come to my mind, I think there was one where you could actually like Starship fuels its own um, like energy to uh, power the, uh, the rocket from materials from outside of space, which... I can't remember exactly um, which material they required to make that make make the power starship, but um, yeah, that would that but that was one that really like brought my attention that where well, you could actually like power your um is uh like ship based off all the materials outside of space. Um, one was also the cargo, the amount of cargo they could uh, fit into the starship. Along with like the whole design it, within the starship, they even had their own like, like a form of like actual like a living space. They had their own um, like fancy design that was pretty cool. Um, what else? What else? Um, I know they have their own like special um, rocket that that attaches to the ship itself. That was also interesting. Um, also like all all the products that are connected to Starship as well was pretty uh like it showed I guess how much SpaceX was going like thinking ahead I, I also believe they were like planning on to make a ton like a bunch of Starships to basically um go to Mars as well that was that was part that was really interesting as well but yeah I mean there's probably a lot that that I covered but I can't remember right now and did you um come across the the point that they plan to use it for point-to-point -point earth travel as well yes that that also uh, that also uh, rings the bell yes i also do remember that yeah <laughs> which was also uh, so, so i mean if you could go from san francisco to south korea in like 30 minutes would, would, would you consider be, that that would be mind-blowing if if it was if um if everything is like uh safety was provided and everything was like good to go yeah i'll probably consider taking it unless it's like not really like expensive Ho hopefully it's like affordable enough that i could take the ride but yeah i'll definitely consider it <laughs> they they say they could be profitable for the equivalent uh, price of a first class airline ticket so i guess first class to south korea from san francisco is what about ten thousand? probably probably um yeah if, if i make enough money yeah why not <laughs> 30 minutes i mean you could literally like leave in the evening spend all day there come back before morning <laughs> yeah and that, that would be like grab some korean barbecue come back that would be that would be pretty nice <laughs> um so what do you think about us going back to the moon um well i think my general thought is i guess it's definitely um a good a good thing so like we we i guess we could uh, actually explore more stuff um since we get more prepared we have more technology now more advanced technology um uh, maybe we could dis uh, discover something new um that would be certainly be something that would be great for the humankind and be very interesting um yeah just just hoping that we could discover something that we haven't and probably that would also help on our travels in, in the future travels to like other planets or mars especially i guess um and whenever you think about the future of humanity say like 200 years out do you mm -hmm. think humanity's uh, grown uh to include things besides just the earth like we have people living on the moon and mars and other places or do you think we're still pretty much on the earth just making these little short trips in 200 uh, um I mean, like it it sounded like what SpaceX was talking about. They they could probably like reach to Mars in several years. So 
if if that goes in like as spacex plans um 200 years might we might even have a establishment uh, on mars or on on moon or on other planets um it would be mind-blowing uh i can't still imagine to even um have a like take us uh take a ship to mars in several years that's honestly that seems still like a, a dream come true but who knows? Who knows? <laughs> it would be great. It would be great if it, it would definitely be a whole new um world if we had started a establishment in Mars. Um so looking forward to some something happening happening. <laughs> uh, so if you could, uh, you'd take a trip to space? If I could. Um I mean I've I've actually seen uh that uh nasa or i uh, probably not said nasa they they constructed several members like just like several unique normal uh, uh, people to actually go to mar i uh, go to the moon to space um yeah if that gets like pretty common i guess uh why not it'd be nice to see what it's like to be in space uh, outside of earth uh, outside of earth but yeah definitely consider it like if again safety was provided <laughs> i i think this decade is going to be very transformational for space flight sort of like the 1990s were for the internet you know yeah. um so i, I kind of uh, see this as being a way for people in you know 100 years 200 years from now to kind of look back and and see what that moment of transition was like and how different people were processing it and that type of thing um, I know we talked about a lot of things, but is there anything else that you want to add that maybe we didn't talk about? Um, maybe that we didn't talk about. Oh, um, yeah. So I I noticed like there's been a lot of um, like global global warming and other um like weather issues and all that stuff going on around the world. Um, I mean I I I don't know. I have no uh information about whether space exploration might be a help to that problem. But I certainly do think that would be like exploring space would definitely be could be a help. We could if we discover something new, that would definitely be something that could uh be a help or benefit to what we're facing right now currently. So I do feel like um space exploration is a very important um thing that humankind must improve on and progress on so all these news about going to the space going to the moon um having ships maybe uh sent to mars all those things seems very important to be although also like people i just feel like people just just go by say that it's like just clap on it but i feel like it's a very important um uh thing or like progress that we should make on and yeah that's that's something that i want to um talk about i guess <laughs> well eric i really appreciate your time and thank you so much for participating in my project of course of course it's it's my pleasure <laughs> well i hope you have a good rest of your evening thank you you too <laughs> bye bye bye